it will convert glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconate, even the name of this product is not important, okay? But just know that this enzyme is important, and what's the aim of the hexose monophosphate chunk is generation of this molecule that's called NADPH, okay? It's a pathanolin NADPH, both she basha, okay? Called NADPH, by the way, it's not NADH. I can be tabel and black holes, it's not NADH, NADH, yeah. NADH in your G3 saga. Yes, I have a CATP. Let's say, click out, it can be CATP and ADH. Well, I'm NADPH and PH are reducing agent. I need here, I need electron donor. Basha, electron able molecule on a capist. So, as a basic key, let's chin organa to function here. Cardi, I can Amy, hexos monophosphate, Shantia, Druskirdini, NADPH. It's not NADH, okay? NADPH, Shiltma, electron donor. Uh, anyway, and the 6 phosphogluconate druskit and enzyme, it will convert to ribulose 5 phosphate. So, can I enzyme a hand to a teach you him the other one? But I'm going to second step. Isha, do him any DPH druskit and all the excess monophosphate. Then, ribulose 5 phosphate will convert to ribulose 5 phosphate and then to nucleotide synthesis. So, I'm going to do the pentosotry pathway druskit and any DPH, and I'm electron donor, and I'm going to do the same. و درست کردنی رایبوس فای فوسفیت که با چی باشه؟ با درست کردنی DNA و RNA اوکی؟ so the aim is generation of NADPH act as electron donor and ribos 5 phosphate to participate in nuclear nucleotide in form of DNA and RNA synthesis so this is the aim of the hexose monophosphate chart اما آنی تری هیچی پیویز نکردی زن اما آنی تری انزور زور کمپلیکیتی زن هیچ پیویز نکردی زن چون اصل تری کن دوی آبی تنه چه تو اوکی؟ فقط اصل آسان بود هکسوس مونوفوسفیشن نری انزایم که مهمه لکو سیکس فاصل دی هایدروژینیس چون اگه دفیشنسی ها به مشکلی هم بود رسید به و هر وها ایمی سایت ما کجیا دسنتیس آف نیتی پی اچ و جنریشن آف رایبوس فای فوسفیت تو جنریت دی این ای و آر ای اوکی؟ so as we said it has two major function I'm going to explain it about the market though Formation of NADPH, we said is a reducing agent or it's called electron donor. It gives electron to other molecules that need it. And the synthesis of ribose for nucleotide and nucleic acid formation in a form of DNA and RNA. Oh. So what's the function of NADPH? And what's my electron cell molecule like it? What's your electron L molecule like it? It's about time for that. So NADPH is different, has different function according to the organs. Okay? For example, in the liver, the major function of NADPH is biosynthesis. Biosynthesis of what? Of fatty acids, of steroid hormones, and many others. So it's mainly do synthesis process, it generates things. Okay, in the liver, mainly. While in the RBC, it will help maintain a substance that's called a reduced glutathione. Petanol reduced glutathione, shio bochi Okay, to protect against reactive oxygen species. What would map as the reactive oxygen species? Because it's only reactive oxygen species, yeah? Vale. Oxygen <laughs> Yes, yeah. This, they are unstable molecules, okay? As your colleague said, the active oxygen species, oxygen, and they are unstable. Daima dawa electron akan. It's a muhimi electron akan a kyoet. La has cell like obi electron yi aba. So both she will chi aka damage cell like it aka. Ehtimal la cell like we back a peri state. One la RBC case of Asia. Basha, kawata la better wake unstable. Daima da dwa electron a kagara kiki baba wu yiki and duan. بوش شوی چی ابد دامجی سیل که برانبری اکه ارگانیکی برانبری اکه لبروی ام NADPH مال RBC specifically بو آیا که ام دیتوکسیفیکشن اکین بو آوی ام ریاکتیف اکشن سپیشیس آنا نه هلی نیان اتلیس ل بالانسی ام کی نیان ترمینیتی ام کی لنا RBC کانا بوی نبته هوی وی که دامجی سیلی RBC کانا، OK؟ 
So this is the Uthman NADPH function that organ dependent, for example, in the liver synthesis, it will help maintain this molecule, called reduced glutathione, to protect against these unstable molecules that's called reactive oxygen species. So uh, we will concentrate on the role of the NADPH on RBC. In fact, we have many other cells to talk about the role of NADPH in neutrophils. It, it acts in, as immune function in the liver, as we said, it synthesizes. But in, we will concentrate on the RBC because there is a disease associated with a deficiency in uh, NADPH or more specifically in GSCSPD deficiency. So, as we said, it will do detoxification function in the RBC of reactive oxygen species that are formed normally during the process of oxygen transport. So, detoxification function NADPH, okay? So regeneration of reduced glutathione can be done in the detoxification process. Legal NADPH must be carried out for detoxification reaction to continue. Okay, it's a basic catronic process. So sufficient level of NADPH is crucial for maintaining the reduced glutathione in order to do protection of the cell. So this is role of NADPH in RBC. Now, I'm pleased to have a pleasure to have a basic detoxification and chron detoxification. I'm going to say that source of reactive oxygen species is the RBC. Now, what is it? It's the source later. It comes from the oxygen. If you have oxygen, it's called hemoglobin. It's called RBC. If you have a layer of RBC, it will automatically pick up the electron in the cell, in the cell membrane. Again, يعني كاتب أكسجين أشتى ناو سيل ميمبريني أر بي سي كانا وكذا باي لي ركاء أروات باشا هنيكي سبونتينيسلي بيكابي أكسجين أكا سوري إلكترون أكا بيكابي إلكترون أكا لكيوها لباي ليري أر بي سي كاو كابيكابي إلكترون أكا تشي دروس تبع بالأكتف أكسجين سبيشيز دروس تبع يعني أكسجين أكا أغورة باتشي بأنستيبل فورم أبدا ريأكتف أكسجين سبيشيز بورنا هيدروجين هيدروجين كيروكسايد إيش تو أوتو أوكي so what is the source? The source is the oxygen that is now by layer, by layer of the oxygen. Spontaneously, the electron is going to be able to get the reactive oxygen species. So this is the first source of reactive oxygen species in RBC. But the source is going to be able to get the hemoglobin and the hemoglobin. If the hemoglobin is going to be able to get the iron in a plus two stage, okay? The pocket is here and the pocket is here. Oxygen, one year, Basha. Honey jar, honey jar, up oxygenated electronic iron, a cababu hoi. Basha, a cabachi, a cabari active oxygen species, and a catoba unstable. Kawata honey jar, up oxygenated electronic iron, a cababu hoi. Basha, Kawata in Mogobinaka chi, a hubba irony, plus three state. Katobachi, met hemoglobin. Lam halata, if the hemoglobin. Has iron in a plus three state, filter sheet, met hemoglobin. Okay? Is met hemoglobin can carry oxygen or not? Yes or no? Any idea? Yes or no? No. No. Why? The liver oxygen is forming O2 yet. Vale. The plus three state is not oxygen. Oxygen is not oxygen. Imagine how much the sale percentage of every day, every half a percent to three percent every day met hemoglobin through seven. Basha, Kawata, we have to deal with this met hemoglobin. The better way again, why do I have to do have to have much as me to be met hemoglobin? How much is the Nahosha? I guess it can pass a bit. But it can't, met hemoglobin cannot carry oxygen. It's not like a real or normal hemoglobin that have iron in a plus two state. Okay? Kawata, Emma, a bit. Am reactive oxygen species. Can the process of this work directed manner correct it? No, right it. No. Okay. Became a harmless water. Basha. Can the am reactive oxygen species have the fact that it became a harmless water? H two O two nia. It can be H two O. So an it can. Larry. Any DPS. Larry. Am cyclic. A basement. A capillary. Hexose monophosphate. Or pentose phosphate. Pathway. 
اگر بیتم به بطمان لیره میترین انزایم لن پاتوی چیه؟ جی اسکیس بیتی چی دروست کرد؟ این ای دی بی ایچ باش این ای دی بی ایچ داره ایشاکی چی بطمان؟ الیکترون دونر باش بله را بردوام می پیش می بینه سر ده الکترون ایا بکر دیره ام زنی من سورسی دروز بونی ام ری اکتیب اکسیونس پیش زد چیه یا لمیت هیما بلا بینه پو دروز بون یا سپونتینیس لی دروز بون اوکی؟ سو ام ایش تو اوتو انانه بی گورین با هاملس ووتر بی کین با ایش تو او چون ای کین ابی دو الکترونی تری بینه ام تو الکترونه لی چو وید لم مولیکلوه که پی موتن پیتان علم چیه ریدیوز لوتا فایان اگر بیت همه پیویست من دوت من با sufficient amount یه reduce glutathione هیه با اوی properly بتوانی detoxification process بید تو اتا reduce glutathione چیه که دو الکترون ایه با ایش تو اوتو ای گاره با چی؟ با ایش تو او با هم خوی اگاره تو با چی؟ با با oxidize glutathione من پیویست من بردوامی با reduce glutathione هیه تو اتا پیویستی با الکترون اوی اگره تو لچو اوی اگره تو؟ Good. Kawata NADPH zani ma nisar wala kichwana. NADPH yet electron air ba oxidize glutathion and that ba reduce glutathion. Reduce glutathion chi akar detoxification yi H2O2 akar bo H2O. Am cycle bar dawam. NADPH electron air ba oxidize glutathion, reduce glutathion yi nusaka. Reduce glutathion chi akar H2O2 akar ba harmless water. Bo wai protecti ar nusaki yi topka. Ok? Kawata agar ista Draw, we, we can draw an arrow if we see if we have deficient in GSKIS PD, what will happen? If we have deficient in the major enzyme in hexose monophosphate shunt or pathway, what will happen? NADPH will be low. Okay, what about reduced glutathione? Will be low. What about H2O2? Will elevate. Okay, so what will happen? Result in Hemoglobin denaturation and membrane damage. What is the better way to take the amri active oxygen species? Say here, Kaberza beta, or we hear near Bala, let you oxygen any. Yet she aka, yellow cell membrane are we seca oxygen about electron about. Basha, yellow cell membrane are we seca electron a caber chile cat, cell damage to Saka. Okay, or hemoglobin a canish, hamui denature. Got she a lay hemoglobin a can, hamui beta and usen, they will cross link. Okay, hemoglobin will cross link. And cause what's called a Heinz body. I can be telling you how to repair your button. Heinz body, I'm telling you the deficiency. I got out my logistic speedy deficiency, a specific logistic speedy deficiency, which is number one cause of humility. Any here. How the Heinz body here is the cross linking of the hemoglobin together. The cat a cross link at a hemoglobin account. They will attach to the cell membrane, to RBC cell membrane, and they will cause damage to the cell membrane as well, and they will cause. Hemolytic anemia, which is mean lysis of the cell membrane of the RBCs. Okay? Take it in such one ishaka process ago, Hamiati NADPH L RBC. Sedika. And now reduce glutathan ishakichia. دو الکترون آبم اش تو آتوا با اوی بی کاره بچی و اش تو آبای نجات من بلر ریاکتیو اکسیژن سپیشیس. بله من مقابل که دو الکترون آت با اش تو آتوا خویه کاره بچی اکسیدایز بیوتافیان. پیوستم به برنامه های ریزی بیوتافیان هم هست. چون درستیه که ما با NADPH. NADPH چی می‌تونه؟ الکترون دونر. It will give electron to oxidize glutathione to generate sufficient amount of reduced glutathione to maintain detoxification to continue. Yes. It's deficient to do oxygen. Chemical is not in the You are medical student. You are not in chemistry school. You don't need it. Just know that they are deficient in two electrons. Basha, I got two electrons. Where can you get a clear deficiency? Man, have you? Be done, Ben. Clear deficiency. Man, have you? Which electron is going to be there? Which one is cell membrane? Which one? Which one is going to disappear? They don't care. Okay, so they cause cell membrane damage. Take it, Steve. Is hemoglobin denaturation the same as the synthesis of methemoglobin? Is the hemoglobin denaturation the same as the synthesis of methemoglobin? No, no, it's not the same. It's a different process. This is a source of generation of the hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so let's move on. This is the Heinz body. There are dark spots that found in the RBCs. You see it under the microscope. And 
So we will talk about GCSD deficiency. We have a part to keep practicing GCSD deficiency. So it is actually a very important disease. Uh, it is number one cause of hemolytic anemia. Can anyone tell me what was number two or second most common cause? Yes, heroin can be Yes, so the most common cause of hemolytic anemia was GCSD deficiency. Number two cause was PK deficiency that was discussed in the glycosis. Okay? So it is an X-linked recessive inborn error of metabolism. It has the highest prevalence in the Middle East, tropical Africa, and Asia, and happens in men more than women. Uh, most of the patients with GCSPD deficiency, fortunately, they are asymptomatic, okay? Unless they are exposing to certain triggers that I will, or aggravating factors that I will show you, or I will tell you what are the aggravating factors for GCSPD deficiency. بوشي لبروي زور بي او عني كجيسكس بي ديفشنسي عن هيا بوانا وانا اقر 80% normal enzyme activity هبه compared to the general population they live normal اقر 70% 60% عن هبه هر they will live normal بلا اقر 50% activity enzyme كان هبه compared to the general population they will have just enough NADPH to detoxify just enough amount of H2O2 باشا بلان اگر بیاد تو تریگر یک گاگریفتین فاکتور یک هبیت که اش تو آتو لناو سال خیلی زیاد که املا صاحب جای ناتوانی فری او بکه دیتوکسیفیکیشن کن که سو لوکات عرضه کن در کیو یعنی زیاد لکه در کیو لوانی که لصاف هن جای اکتیویتی انسان کنه نورمالی دی لیف ا نورمال لایف دی هاف یعنی نو سیمتمز بات وین دی آر اکسپوزین تو سرتن تریگرز دات ول اینکریز دی ریاکتیو اکسیژن سپیشیز این دی آر بی سی دن دی سیمتم ول آپی Okay, the very last half and J activity of enzyme not one completely detoxify hamu reactive oxygen species. Okay, so most of them are asymptomatic, but when they develop symptoms, what is the first symptom? Is hemolytic anemia, of course, and they can develop jaundice because of the flush of the RBC toward the liver they cannot deal with, so it becomes hyperbilirubinemia and jaundice. As we said, most individuals fortunately are asymptomatic. Well, treatment, actually there is no specific treatment other than avoiding known triggers. It's only a trigger, it's not a trigger. It's a trigger, it's 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 a trigger. Excess reactive oxygen species, it's a trigger. It's a trigger, it's a certain antibiotic, it's a certain infection, it's a trigger, it's a trigger. It's a trigger, it's a reactive oxygen species, it's a trigger. لبرو او کسی که هاف انزایمی هست، نه تو اینی با تاوتی دیتوکسیفیکیشن که لوکاتی عرضه کنی تیاد رکت. Okay, so GCSPD deficiency triggering factors are the oxidant drugs antibiotics. Certain type of antibiotic can increase the reactive oxygen species and can make the GCSPD deficiency symptomatic. Anti-malarial drugs and some antipyretics. Also, afavism is a Mediterranean with GCSPD deficiency are particularly susceptible to develop hemolytic anemia after ingestion of fababin. Fababin is very much a regime that is due to reactive oxygen species. It is a very important part of the defective enzyme. It is not a detoxification. It is not a detoxification. It is a hemolytic anemia. It is not a detoxification. 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 اما که الان هیمولتیک انیمیا زور به کات که اشنا ایجی کی جوره تر و تقریبا انزایم کان زیاد تری اکسپرس بده تو انزایم کان نگات و حدی کی نورمال که بو کسی کی آسایی بشه، اوکی؟ انفکشن از دی موس کامن ریسپتیتین فاکتورز، فور اکزامپل نیومونیا یا هیپاتایتیس، کان آلسو کوز دی آرت کاسه تریگرین فاکتور و کوز هیمولتیک انیمیا و آنالر سیمتمز از جیسکس بیلی دیفیشنسی. Okay. Take you to the slide again. I push take you personal down here. Do I have one of them? Your job and all the other general. Yes. X. Yeah. X link. X link. Like I think I'll be male X Y. Female X X C. So, if you can X again, I think I'm going to get X again. I think I'm going to get X again. Okay, let's do female X again.
So the male uh, will be more affected than females. Okay. Now we will go to yes. Bale. Hijazic anemia. Her hemolysis is about hemolytic anemia. What you got to RBC cut lysis a bit, cell membrane cut damage a bit, would do whatever anemia. You got RBC healthy now, man. Who is that? Who is that? I don't know if you answer. Just give me a look at it. Shut me, shut me. If I have a cell rate, if you can see it, it's fine. Both of them. 50% of 50% of the guys have been treated. But, but. What's wrong? How do you get to get Enzyme is not a good thing. It's 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 a so we will talk about the next topic will be galactose metabolism. To us, the glucose by Jalen, and she has said galactose metabolism. The very topic of cantana hair, the mabati practice on the cantana hair. Okay, so it's very easy. Galactose is present in the milk and dairy products, so in a form of lactose. With my lactose, it's like a little disaccharide. So it has to break into monosaccharide in order to be absorbed. It will split into glucose and galactose by lactase. I give you a bit of galactose is the most important thing. The main digestion of the spirit and the brush border disaccharides that's called a lactase. Okay? So the lactose disaccharide. So the split will happen in the intestine, in the small intestine. And then the galactose will enter into the circulation. We will continue now. Do I have any more on the show? Which kind of pathology? We will continue the straightforward biochemistry. So the galactose has been formed, enter the circulation, and then the galactose will enter mainly the liver and brain, although it enters every tissues or other tissues, but mainly it will work in the liver and brain. So uh, keep this two organ in mind because if there's a pathology, they will they are mainly happening in these two organs. So once the galactose enters into the cells, which we said mainly liver and brain. It will see the first enzyme that's called a galactokinase. It's about the same enzyme as the glycolysis minima, but this is called a galactokinase. So substrate is here, galactose. It will do what? It will use ATP to phosphorylate galactose to galactose 1-phosphate. Okay? And then the galactose 1-phosphate will see the second important enzyme in the galactose metabolism. And by the way, I'm doing enzyme as well, because there's a disease related to these two enzymes. It's galactose 1-phosphate, we'll see the second enzyme that's called a galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase enzyme that will convert galactose 1-phosphate to glucose 1-phosphate. It doesn't need it right now. It's not being examined. So just know that galactose 1-phosphate will convert to glucose 1-phosphate by the second important enzyme in galactose metabolism. <coughs> Glucose 1-phosphate will convert to glucose 6-phosphate, can enter in glycolysis, or can convert back to glucose, or can go to the glycogen storage. Okay, I'm going to tell you how many of you are going to glycolysis, gluconeogenesis, glycogen metabolism, and you can tell me how many of you are going to do it. So anyhow, I'm going to tell you how many of you are going to do metabolism, and I'm going to tell you how many of you are going to do it, and I'm going to tell you how many of you are going to do it. لبرو اگر دیفیشنسی ها بیلم انزایمه چی رو ایت؟ There will be a cataract. So galactokinase deficiency produces a cataract in early life. What's cataract? Yes. 
Yes, opacification of the lens. Good. Yeah, and I will see we can hand out this. So it's opacification of the lens. Now then in Gucci Roya. Before going to uh explanation we can cataract what you are, Baba see okay can cut your galactocanes deficiency a bit and how she wrote and how cataract wire. Remember that. So if you see a patient just with a cataract, think about the galactokinase deficiency. While if we have a galactose one phosphate urethral transfer deficiency, in addition to the cataract, you will have the following symptoms. We have cataract, vomiting and diarrhea, lethargy, liver damage, hyperbilirubinemia, jaundice, and mental retardation. Bochi, the deficiency man have the second enzyme that she accumulated in the cell again, galactose 1-phosphate. The galactose 1-phosphate accumulates in أمو أم عرازنا دروس كا بتاع بتوت ما لسر ليفر ولا سر برين مينتال ريتارديشن دروس كا ليفر دامج دروس كا كليفر دامج يجي كنا حال الكونجيشن بالروبين كاب المقارنة شيء دروس كا هايبر بالروبينيميا أن جون دسيش دروس كا لثارجي دروس كا بيكوز ات ويل دامج ذا برين سو ذا سكند إنزيم إف ات إز ديفيشنت ات برودوس مور سيفير سيمتومز كوات الجالكتو كان إز ديفيشنسي تنها كتر عك دروس كا وايل في Galactose 1 phosphate urethral transfer deficiency produce much more symptoms. They cause liver damage and brain damage as well, in addition to the cataract. Okay? So this is the difference. Now, in a case, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that cataract is here, but then how? So you accept that the cataract is here, and you can see that the mild stress is here, and the second enzyme. Again, with the legal jaundice, the legal mental retardation, the lethargy, Think about the second enzyme, okay? Okay. Now we'll go back to upper part, why the cataract happens by Mr. E. Chona, Chona Emma Oliver and Bella. Bella. Yeah, in real life. Early life at Kuseka, infantile, and it be any infant to she cataract of it. Okay? So, without going over she comes and go she cataract to Kuseka. Now, I can't take a gala if we have a galactokinase deficiency, which one is accumulating galactose? The galactose accumulates with a cell of care, a chetonal circulation. Zia a gala circulation. The true circulation, a cheta cure, sorry. A cheta mainly a cheta cure, a cheta. لنسي آيو طبعا شرني راس تخوف شتى لنسي آيو شتى أورجانا كان كيشو بلا مو شيء ده راسي لنسي كين ده بروي إفكت كين ده مجا كين اللي بعده ركيا، okay so it will enter the lens of the eye in the lens of the eye it will see the enzyme that's called aldose reductase an enzyme that she aka galactose agore ba galactitol سيد كان galactose خوي شش كربونا pH كربوني هيدروكسيل جروبي في ويا یا کربونی آلدی هایدرو بیاید. اما میگیم نیه بیزانی نیستم. بس تنها کانسپت کتیا بگن. باشه پیانش کربونی هایدروکسید گروپی بیاید. یا کربونی آلدی هایدرو بیاید. آل دوز ریدکتیس چیه؟ کاری آل آلدی هایدرو باشه که با هایدروکسید گروپ. تعریف از چی معنیه؟ از شوگریک معنیه؟ شش کربونیه. هر شش کربونه که هایدروکسید گروپی بیاید. که وقتا تو چی؟ هایلی اوزموتیک گلوکوز. یعنی اگر سری هایلی اوزموتیک شوگر، فر ازامپل گالکتوس. یعنی چی why they have dry water a cup on our lens on them, okay? You get it? Yeah, they don't know. So, shash carboni here, PNG and hydroxyl group BPA, and you can see all the high DPA, but we are going to those out here. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, all those reductives, you have all the high group, but you have a hydroxyl group. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, galactitol, I'm going to tell you, I'm highly osmotic, water is so dry, and you have a lens on them. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, Cataract. Okay? So this is how cataract is formed in galactokinase deficiency. Kawatalera, main cause is galactitol trapped in the lens, cause swelling and cataract. Okay? Or it can cause a cross linking of the lens of the protein by S disulfide bone formation causing cataract. Amana Nishizami Kyashani. Balam, main cause a katam birbe, ka galactitol, a kat drawy water, a kabana lens, a kobe, a hoidrus buni. So this is how cataract develops in galactokinase or galactose one phosphate transfer transfer deficiency. Okay. This is cataract. This is a normal eye, and this is how there will be opacification of the lens of the eye, and the patient may have a problem in the vision or other things. 
So we will leave galactose, we will come back to the glucose metabolism. We will leave galactose, we will come back to the glucose metabolism. We will leave galactose, we will come back to the glucose metabolism. Well, I'm very early as the Sharakat and Kondeskra, or Basna Kilopatica, so I actually skip it from Basna Kilopatan, the Roika Katman. Basha. So we have metabolism of pyruvate. Pyruvate, the cure hat. Short response here. Glycolysis, yes. Is the end result of the glycolysis. Pyruvate or pyruvic acid is the same, okay? Then pyruvate chili. What's the fate of the pyruvate? I give you time to use my agarbeto cell like a oxygen hub nabu. Yeah, mitochondria and aerobic glycolysis will continue as lactate or lactic acid. While if the cell has mitochondria or sufficient oxygen, this will continue aerobically. It will later pass out in control aerobically by the arm. So pyruvate does not enter stage three. Stage three pass out in TCA cycle directly, but it's first converted to acetyl CoA by the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase. So once the pyruvate enters the mitochondria, see the first enzyme in the mitochondria that's called a PDH or pyruvate dehydrogenase. It's actually a complex enzyme because of many other names. It has three or four names, I, I think. But this is just, we remember it as a PDH or pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme. It will convert the pyruvate to a two carbon molecule that's called a styleco. So PDH catalyzed irreversible reaction. This step is irreversible. They cannot be reversed. So, the glucose, as we said, in glycolysis, that happens in the cytoplasm, convert to pyruvate, and then the pyruvate will enter the mitochondria of the cell. It will see this important enzyme that's called PDH. It will convert pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. What this enzyme is doing, they will do oxidation reduction step. It will give, take electron from pyruvate to NAD to generate NADH. Basha, I give you time to find NADH, Chidrusaka, how we will discuss it in the last lecture. Okay, so pyruvate will give electron to NAD, generate NADH, that will generate 3 ATP in a cycle that's called electron transport chain. And also decarboxylate give off one CO2 and generate a two carbon molecule that's called acetyl coy. Okay, how the PDH is important, why the PDH is important because of its uh, need or what it needs to work. زائد ده نويك طبعا بأسيت على كوي كزور بيت والدور ده شداوني بي دي اتش كا كأم زائك طلية بسا دروسي مكا طبعا exception is in the liver. Once the acetyl CoA has been generated, it will enter the citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle or TCA cycle to generate water and CO2 and more ATP. Okay. So there are several cofactor enzymes used by بي دي اتش. كا تبغى شيء بي دي اتش مهمة وتمان بال. What is PDH? It needs several coenzymes and cofactors in order to work. First one is a thiamine pyrophosphate that comes from thiamine. It requires lipoic acid that you generate it in your body. Coenzyme A from pantothenate. It requires FAD or FADH2 from riboflavin. And NADH from niacin. Kau ada hamu angko enzyme ko faktor ni biar kita boleh ishka, tapi awan yang nato awan ishka. Okay, that's why you have to remember the needs for PDH and how or what they need to work is these TLCFN. So we abbreviated as a tender, loving care for Nancy. Atau angko share bi tanda, boleh bi tanda cetoa. This is the first of a three tender loving care of Nancy enzyme in your body. Okay, do I need to show my hair? I keep tempo basta kam o itri am pi ma bil amino acid metabolism ma tam basta kriet la lecture kani tra. So we abbreviate it as T tender loving care for Nancy enzymes. Number one is a PDH enzyme that's very important to convert pyruvate to acetyl CoA in irreversible cycle or pathway. How we will regulate it? It's not so important. Allosterically, the reaction is sensitive to energy status of the cell, so it is regulated by uh, negative effectors. Manewa inhibiti account. Man agar estal ko ezorbu kamiyakato inhibiti account. ATP. If we have too much energy, we want the 
PDH to stop working. If NADH is too much, also you will inhibit the PDH. Positive effectors, ADA, ADP, if we have no energy or little amount of energy, we want this cycle to continue, so it will stimulate PDH enzyme. Hormonally, insulin will activate this enzyme. This is particularly happens in the liver in order for the process or acetyl-CoA production to continue. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. But I want to be rest of Okay, yeah. You have 10 minutes. Yeah. And then acetyl-CoA will enter into this important pathway that's called tricarboxylic acid cycle or TCA cycle or Krebs cycle. Please be quiet. Okay, so we have two pathways for this lecture. One of them is TCA cycle. The second one is gluconeogenesis. So the TCA cycle, also called Krebs cycle, is the final destination metabolism of fuel molecules mainly carbohydrate, fatty acid, and amino acid. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Of course, the final metabolism, or final destination of metabolism of all the major uh, sources of the energy, including carbohydrate, fatty acid, and amino acids. So it happens in mitochondrial matrix. I'll do cyclic, I'll show you the hexos monoposy, glycosis, the chocolate, and the plasma. But the Krebs cycle happens in the mitochondrial matrix. There are no known genetic defects in the pathway and they would be lethal. If you remember, we talked about glycolysis. We say you will not, in your lifetime, you will never see a patient with complete enzyme defect in glycolysis because it is fatal or it is lethal. While in Krebs cycle, you will not see even a partial defect or a patient with a partial defect in the, any enzyme in a TCA cycle because it will be Incompatible with life. It's composed of this cycle. I will try to simplify it for you. So listen carefully. So it starts with the pyruvate, as we said, it's the PDH enzyme convert to acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA can have many other sources. It's not our matter right now because we are not talking about other pathways. Just know that acetyl-CoA generated uh, is the start of the TCA cycle. Here this the cycle, there is no hormonal control of the TCA cycle. No hormone will interfere with the cycle. Okay? So the regulation happens by other molecules. There is no hormonal control of the TCA cycle. The second thing is that the acetyl-CoA will give off 12 ATP in each cycle. So this is too much ATP that will help you survive, help you do muscle contraction, kidney function, pumping of the blood through the heart or brain function. So each cycle generates 12 ATP and yields 2 CO2. That's why we breathe out CO2 every few seconds, okay? Because of this cycle, because this cycle also gives all CO2 as a product. So it begins with acetyl-CoA. It will, uh, it's two carbon, acetyl-CoA, two carbon. It will condense with the four carbon oxaloacetate to form six carbon citrate, please. Be quiet, please. So it generates a six carbon citrate, Classic enzyme mechanical chromonemia, so you can just have an X on it. A citrate will see uh, also an enzyme that's not important, which will generate an isocitrate. Six carbon citrate will generate a six carbon isocitrate. We have two important enzymes in the TCA cycle, you have to know it. One of them is this enzyme, which is the major enzyme in the pathway, it's called isocitrate dehydrogenase. Okay, what this enzyme is doing, it will take electron from isocitrate, put it on NAD to generate NADH, that will eventually go to electron transport chain and generate 3 ATP. Okay, so isocitrate will can give electron to NAD to generate NADH, go into electron transport chain to generate 3 ATP. Generate 5 carbon alpha ketoglutarate. Say, get a shash carbon, a guarada pinch carbon. CO2 So it will also decarboxylate. It will give off CO2. Then 
We have 5 carbon alpha ketoglutarate. We'll see the second enzyme, which is alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Again, this enzyme is dehydrogenase, so it will generate NADH from NAD. That will go to the chain again and will decarboxylate the second CO2 in the cycle. Now, the CO2 is CO2. The cycle is not the same. The enzyme is not the same. Bring it out again. It will be uh, coming out from the cycle or from the pathway. So these are the two important enzymes. This is the major one and this one is the minor. Why this enzyme is important? Because this is the second tender loving care for Nancy enzyme. If you remember, we say we have a three enzyme in your body that require these five coenzymes that we discussed in the first lecture. So this is the second enzyme that requires thiamine, lipoic acid, coenzyme A, FAD, and NAD as the coenzyme in order to work. Same enzyme, monocyclic, but not the cyclic, the deroid, carbohydrate, metabolism. Okay? <clears throat> so till now, we have six carbon isotrate convert to five carbon alpha ketoglutarate, CO2, ketia, gadubachi, schwar carbon, or four carbon succinyl CoA. The four carbon succinyl CoA will convert to succinate, now you can say, mohimnia, but it will convert GDP to GTP. GDP to GTP is equivalent to ATP. Because the GTP is equal to ATP in an amount of energy. So we can just name it as one ATP has been generated. Again, the Katmanera substrate of the Katwa, Bogorini GDP, Lerabo GTP. Katam so, Stepa, Namichia, substrate level phosphorylation. Do I get the Lechabu? Like glycolysis. Again, the Katwa says, the Mudan Adela, substrate level phosphorylation, the Lechikua, do I need the glycolysis? Same yan lere. Substrate level phosphorylation, chibu, substrate aka bakar a hat, bo oi energy bada. ADP, ye go around the ATP. Lera, GDP, go riba, GTP. Okay? So this is the third and the last example of the substrate level phosphorylation, in which the substrate is used to phosphorylate GDP or ADP to ATP and generate energy. Now, succinate will convert to a fumarate, generating FADH2, and FADH2 excited by 2 ATP. And with my NADH, say ATP, my modulus is an electron transport chain, but FADH2 will generate 2 ATP in electron transport chain. How? We will discuss it in the last lecture. And then, fumarate, we'll see this enzyme that's not important, convert to malate. Malate will convert to oxaloxid again, generating NADH, going to electron transport chain, and the cycle will continue. يعني أوي كلير مهم مدر باري أم سايكلا أم دو إنزيم بزاني بوشي وتمان أنا عن بوشي مهمة لبرب أم هينش كو إنزيم كبيريسيتي أي أم أيزو تترد هيدروجين سبب مهمة لبرب أوي ك شون وتمان لغلايكولوسس PFK1 كي إنزيم غلايكولوسس أم أيزو تترد هيدروجين كي إنزيم كرب سايكلا ببي أم أجر شدان بي كرب سايكل أوسته أجر أكتيفيت بي كرب سايكل بردوا بدي so we have to know how it will be regulated. Which means there was no hormone to regulate the curve cycle. So we have to figure out which molecule will activate or shut down the isostrate dehydrogenase. This enzyme. ATP and NADH. You imagine ATP and NADH will turn off or turn on without looking at your lecture. Why? Because if you have uh, much uh, ATP or yes. NADH, it means that your body doesn't need this cycle to provide. ATP. Yes. So you will tell the cycle to stop working, to stop generating more ATP because you have too much ATP, you don't need any more in it. So it will shut down the isotretic hydrogen. As well as NADH. NADH also is energy state of itself. As we said, NADH equal to. 3 ATP, or we can say FADH2 equal to 2 ATP. So these also will turn off the key enzyme in the Krebs cycle, okay? Because you have too much energy, you don't want the cycle to continue, you will stop the cycle from the key enzyme, which is isostrate dehydrogenase. So it will inhibit it. And what happens, let me just tell you something about the cycle. What happens if the isostrate dehydrogenase is shut down? The target will accumulate, isocitrate will accumulate, because here you shut down the cycle by too much ATP, for example. 
isotrate will accumulate back to straight. Citrate will spill back to the cytoplasm. And if you remember, you remember citrate was shutting down which key enzyme? Yes, PFK1. At that time, I told you that it doesn't make sense why citrate interfered with the PFK1. But now, it may hopefully make sense. I got too much ATP to have it. I'm not shut down a bit. I should trade COVID. I got it over citrate. Citrate is a show. I'm the mitochondria. I should spill a cat over now cytoplasm. She shut down a calibre. PFK1 is shut down a cat to stop making more energy in a glycolysis. Okay? So that's why citrate also inhibits the major enzyme in the glycolysis or a key enzyme in the glycolysis, PFK1. Okay? Okay, I thought my nose I'm going to citrate with the shaka, but I'm just hopefully. Well, man, that Kabochi citrate will shut down the key enzyme in the glycolysis. Yes. Yeah, but I'm not eating anything. No, I'm eating the key enzyme. I can't eat. That's not part of it. So we said regulation. It was easy. Just remember the two enzymes here and how they are regulated and what they need to work. Okay. يا جايب الرين لسه أمس أيضا نبدأ زين إن شن وثمان تلف أتي بما هو درسك زين شن تلف أتي بما هو درسك this is three three one two three so again three three one two three so it's equal to twelve ATP per cycle okay so regulation من باسكت there is no hormonal control of the cycle This is a decarboxylation so there is no hormonal control of the cycle. همونطوری یک کمی پول کنی خود هم که هاتون بوده رو همونطور قدرت و نمونه بون لذیذ کیلو رمشت. So please. یه مستقبل خلق تیم شتابی به سر برو جدی. Regulation, there is no hormonal control of the cycle, as we said. Control is exerted by what? By energy status of the cell, as we said. If we have too much energy, we stop the cycle. If we have deficient or we need energy, we will want the cycle to continue. Multiple enzymes are allosterically regulated by the level of ATP. Bomb basket in the cell like a chair. Major enzyme, isocitrate dehydrogenase, will be allosterically stimulated by ATP. So this is regarding the TCA cycle. Everything is clear. Check here. Can I tell you that this cycle is going to be done by what? Well, this happens inside the plasma. TCA in the mitochondria of the cell. Mitochondrial matrix. Yes. 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 Okay, so uh, we will go to another cycle, it's called gluconeogenesis. Anyone know what's gluconeogenesis? Uh, just raise your hand if you know anything about gluconeogenesis, yes. Yes, very good. Yes, you want to see them? Making glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, yes. Uh, why we need gluconeogenesis? Because we don't have enough 
Yeah, in which situation do you require glucose to be produced? Yes. Glucose containing sources are uh, produce mal, uh, very less uh, amount of glucose. Thus, uh, we need to make uh, glucose from fat molecules or other molecules because they because they provide a large amount of uh, ATP. And mm, yes, good, good. But uh, in which stage or in which period? The question is, we need glucose to be produced. Yes. Very good. So you're in starvation or you're in fasting state. Uh, we will need uh, gluconeogenesis. We require our organs to generate glucose. So what's gluconeogenesis? As you said, it's a synthesis of glucose from non-carbohydrate precursors like lactate, glycerol, and amino acids. Liver participates a major or majority of the gluconeogenesis, 85 to 95%. Kidney have a minor role, except during prolonged starvation, when kidney come to play and also a major role and have a 40% role in gluconeogenesis. Basha kati ekam jai liver dori ki sare ki hai baam kati ka hasta ki berdam on okas starva berdam source niya or now like on the intake ni carbohydrate source okat ki nishiyat la sachli role akawa again okay. So in the absence of dietary intake of carb, liver glycogen can meet this need for only 8 to 10 hours. Again, we can be able to get glycogen through the glucose of the glucose of the glucose of the glycogen through the glucose of the glucose of the glucose. So what do you want to do? You have to get fast. But the glycogen is short term. You have to get a little bit of it. And you have to get a little bit of it. And you have to get a little bit of it. Okay? So during prolonged fast, hepatic glycogen stores are depleted and glucose is formed from the gluconeogenesis. Kata kaka fasting aka berdawan be, to kata peyuste be chia, peyuste ba gluconeogenesis sana. Baro yu glycogen aka, urda urda storage aka kata beta o naamene. Be peyuste ba sorsi tri glucose ya, be kyo wet la gluconeogenesis. So after 24 hour, gluconeogenesis represent the only source of the glucose. So yika duwebi su chwar saat, taka bich na khoi, Glycogen is not the generation of glucose from non-carbohydrate precursors. So what's the function? It's obvious, maintain steady blood glucose during starvation. That comes from protein or other sources like fat. Or a lactate and glycerol using gluconeogenesis during a strenuous exercise. And how to anipa ham ham ash or lactate to glycerol is bakabeni the habod risk dini glucose the halati heavy exercise. So what are the precursors? You say we say non carbohydrate precursors. The first one is glycerol. It comes from triglyceride deep was tissue cut. Triglyceride break down a cut. Kafat the lechito break down a cut. Storage fat break down a cut. Shidru sabet fatty acid ru sabet lego glycerol. Okay, and glycerol is the source of glucose. It's okay, the precursor is glucose. Then, the second is lactate, as we said from anaerobic glycolysis. We know where is the source of the lactate. And finally, glucogenic amino acids, mainly alanine. Uh, how many amino acids do we have? 20. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, how many of them are glucogenic? Three. Three. Eighteen. Very good. And the others. The other two. This. Yes. Yes. They are what? They are ketogenic. Ketogenic. Very good. So we have twenty amino acids. Twenty amino acid man here. Eighteen of them. Yani hashdan glucogenic. Lo ane bashitia be glucogenic o ketogenic ish belabi naka. Balam eighteen are glucogenic. The two L. Leucine and lysine are the only two that are just ketogenic. They cannot make glucose. Okay? So this is a pathway of gluconeogenesis. It's composed of reversal of what you saw in glycolysis. Gluconeogenesis is reversal. So it's composed of the, this figure is composed of the two combined pathway. On the right side, we have the glycolysis. And on the left side, we have gluconeogenesis. So, if you remember a quick review of glycolysis, glucose will see glucokinase, generate glucose 6-phosphate, then fractose 6-phosphate by reversible step. But I'm step up. 
ليرا كبير تام بي جلوكوز كقرا بي جلوكوز 6 فوسفيت اي تي بي بكارات وايا لبرو ذي ستيب از ريفرسيبل في بيسمع انزيمك يتر لجلوكونيوجينيسيس بو يبتوني اكسيكينو باسيكي ذن جلوكوز 6 فوسفيت سي ا مولتي امبورتنت انزيم اللي بينشتان هردو سري سهم كبب شوي سو ذيس از ريفرسيبل ستيب دي كان بي ايزلي ريفرس convert to fructose 6-phosphate. Fructose 6-phosphate will see the key enzyme in glycolysis PFK1. Again, the PFK1 using ATP, so this is the second irreversible step in glycolysis that need another enzyme in order to be reversed. I mean, I want to ask you, I'm going 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 to ask you. Okay? And then, we have fructose 6-bisphosphate divided into dihydroxyacetophosphate, that will generate glycerol or can be interchanged for glycerol dehyde free phosphate. There are badam abin, why from Shewea. Then glycerol dehyde free phosphate, and then have glycosis. We'll see the three reversible steps generate a PEP. We said that PEP is highest compound of the cell. See the third enzyme, a pyruvate kinase, will generate a pyruvate. This step is also irreversible step that need to be reversed. All right, so we have three irreversible steps in glycolysis need to be reversed in order to generate glucose from gluconeogenesis. So the last one is the process. Reg acts in a way process glycolysis. Glycolysis glucose is going to be pyruvate. Let us know next time. Pyruvate to source the kind of carbon that will produce in a way glucose. So the last step is the glycolysis of the irreversible. The reason why it acts in a way is because the enzyme is not in gluconeogenesis. Because they cannot be easily reversed like reversible steps. How do we know the source of the energy? Because when it comes to source, here, source is the secondary glucose, lactate. Okay? How do lactate show? How do we know interchangeable? But LDH is the one that goes to pyruvate. I'm step up, reversible. Later, enzyme like what we know, lactate dehydrogenase or LDH, is the one that goes to pyruvate, or vice versa. So the first source of the glucose for gluconeogenesis is lactate or lactic acid. The second source is alanine or glucogenic amino acids. Major main, uh, or majority is alanine. Okay. And the third source is glycerol 3 phosphate. As we said, this comes from triglyceride breakdown. Not triglyceride, but scale of fatty acid to glycerol. Glycerol is a tiny source of glucose, the halati fasting, and anti starvation. The carbon is the risk of the glucose and glucose and glucose. What about fatty acids? Fatty acid, the energy. That's why they were bitter. They were bitter. What else? Oh, okay. What about that? Look, she went. Okay. Here comes the one, two, three. Is the three non-carbohydrate precursors of the glucose for glucose synthesis. What about that? Here comes the piece of my way. I'm cycling. I'm stepping. Glycolysis should be reversed. Here we have pyruvate, the now cure, the now cytoplasm is still a cure in glycosis. So what is the cure? What is the now mitochondria? What is the cure? What is the cure? It's not important, okay? So the pyruvate will see the first enzyme that's important in the gluconeogenesis called pyruvate carboxylase. Pyruvate carboxylase. And pyruvate carboxylase is a cheap baby stuff. Pyruvate agoreba oxaloacity. Pyruvate secarbona. ای گوره با چهار کربن اکسالو اسیدی. چی بکاره اینی؟ ATP بکاره اینی. ای گوره با ATP. CO2 بکاره اینی. باشه چون ام کربنی ابات. سه کربن که ای گوره با چهار. چی تیشی پیوسته؟ بیوتی. که وارد شدن به انزیم ما بیرون که چی تیشی پیوسته؟ در کار ATP، CO2، و بیوتی. که وارد شدن بیرون ما بیرون انزیم ما، we name it as ABC carboxylase. که وارد یکم انزیم ما بیرون کنن جنسیس. Now you need ABC carboxylase because it requires ATP to work, biotin to work, and CO2 to work. So, I'm doing one of my ABC carboxylase. I will tell us the metabolism can interact and not in the carbohydrate pathways. Just know that ABC carboxylase requires three important things: ATP, biotin, and CO2 to work. It will convert the pyruvate to the four carbon oxaloacetate. This is the first step. You want to see a bit oxaloacetate, but shuttle it. We have to shuttle. If you don't remember, this shuttle is also it's okay. It will enter or reverse or turn back to the uh, cytoplasm. Okay. Before continuing this part, 
It's important to know that pyruvate carboxylase also has an important regulator or important activator. It's called acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA will act like an obligate activator for pyruvate carboxylase. Now let's mention obligate activator. Any idea? Yes. But. No, in vice versa. Obligate activator, it means the enzyme does not work without this activator. So mean that the pyruvate carboxylase ACE acetyl CoA must be present in order to work. Well, in the in, in other side, we have allosteric activator. Allosteric activator, she is not an activator, and have an enzyme that is not an activator. But I am not an activator. Obligate, I mean, it's a very habit. Boy, enzyme that is not an activator. Obligate activator, it's part of the carboxylation, acetyl CoA. It should be present in order for this enzyme to work. I am not an activator. I am not an activator. I am not an allosteric activator. The enzyme will work better in the presence of allosteric activator, but it will also work without this allosteric activator. Basha, I mean, bash is not only a camel bash is not that. Balam, berdam abel ishkeden. Balam obligate activator. It must be present in order for the enzyme to work. So this is the difference. So this enzyme is important because it's ABC. It requires ABC to work, and also it has an obligate activator. That's called acetyl-CoA. Where this acetyl-CoA is coming, it comes from beta oxidation of fatty acid that will be discussed in lipid metabolism. Beta oxidation of fatty acid, multiple acetyl-CoA groups are activated by enzyme carbogluconeogenesis. <clears throat> Oxaloacetate, we'll see the second important enzyme in gluconeogenesis. This is called PEP carboxykinase. This PEP con uh, converts oxaloacetate back to three carbon PEP. But this is PEP, I'm going to go to the glycolysis. So I'm going to step up the reverse skin, but I'm going to do enzyme. Okay? So PEP carboxykinase will use, again, GTP to convert it to GTP and will remove the CO2. Okay? The Qatman, I'm CO2, I had to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, What's she? The very image is that the tri-carbon oxaloacetate, the Isman, where three carbon PEP drips. Okay? So I mean, in there, it's energy energy drips. بکارهاتو داره شر انرژی بکارهاتو. باش خوی گلوکانه چون اساسی حالاتی استار بیش نه. دارم نه همون انرژی هم نشون میدم. من انرژی باشی. It's energy requiring pathway. Where this all energy is coming from? Yes. Very good. They come from beta oxidation of fatty acid. Fatty acid دکی تو تریگلیس رای دکو برگ داون نبی. اگر با فاتی اسیدو گلیسرول گلیسرول سکت گلیسرول دکو سورسی کی گلوکانه چون اساسی بکاریا. فاتی اسید دکو کو سورسی اتی بکاریا فوی کا گلوکانه چون اساسی بر داون. Basha, so you see, we use this pathway in starvation, but it is energy requiring pathway. So this is a PEP. Let's see the three reversible reactions, easy to be reversed, and we'll go up. And sorry, before going to that, this enzyme is also hormonal regulated by glucagon and cortisol. Will activate this enzyme at genetic level. Genetically, they will stimulate this enzyme in order to work better. So PEP has been generated. Going back to glycerol, you have 3 phosphate. And then, coming back to a lot figure. Then glycerol, you have 3 phosphate again, go to the reversible reaction, generate fractose 1, 6 bisphosphate. And then, this reversible step need to be, uh, irreversible step need to be reversed in the gluconeogenesis. We have this important enzyme called fractose 1, 6 bisphosphatase. Mean, and phosphatase in Chiaka. Phosphate is yeah. phosphatase, okay? So it will remove one phosphate from this substrate generating fractose 6 phosphate. So it will pop off one phosphate and generating fractose 6 phosphate. And the enzyme is not going to be able to do ATP will activate the enzyme. So the source of the enzyme is gluconeogenesis is energy required. The enzyme is going to be able to do energy required. انزایمی سعی میشه راست دخو بیشی به اکتیویشن هست، به ATP اکتیویشن. اما وقت من ATP که لشو هات و اگر از کام فرم تریگلیسترید موبیلیزیشن یا برگ داون فرم فاتی اسید یا بیتا اکسیدیشن از فاتی اسید. جنریت مالتیپل ATP 
activate also this enzyme in order to reverse this thing. Fructose 6-phosphate will continue to generate glucose 6-phosphate, and then the last step will be glucose 6-phosphatase that will pop off the last phosphate from the glucose and generate glucose to go back to the circulation to maintain your blood glucose level within the normal range. Show a guy right now here, glucose natural. Brain. Yes. Yes, very good. Brain blood cells is the only cell that cannot live. Be quiet, please. Is the only cell that cannot live without glucose. Because I can be tamed with my RBC that has two pathway man here. Yes, I'm like also self. Yes, I'm pentose phosphate pathway. He's cycling it man here. Brain is at one adapt color. But I don't know. Try to listen to the source energy. Pash that they can start action. But the RBC cannot. So we have to maintain glucose at least for the RBC. Okay? The whole of the establishment. Okay? So this is regarding the gluconeogenesis. I will skip all these parts because I discuss it for you. Just remember, in absence of adequate level of biologically effective insulin, such as in diabetic patient, there will be increased rate of gluconeogenesis that will contribute significantly to hyperglycemia. يعني لحالة الجلوكونيوجينيسيس لحالة الدايابيتيسيا still الجلوكونيوجينيسيس يا أكاد كواتيا بس إن خشكت هيك أنا يا مداشي زميلي. نخشك هو الدايابيتيسيا already high level blood glucose هنا. باشا. بلا نبرة deficiency insulin هي. كواتيا deficiency insulin هي بو. بالمقابل شيء برز بدو counter regulatory hormone كانوا كوجي أو كورتيزول أو كلوكاجول. كواتيا الجلوكونيوجينيسيس بردانة بيه. كواتيا يد الجلوكوز كي زورت رح هذا نوع سيركوليشن أو Aggravate the situation of the patient. Okay? 